This video is a follow-up video to one that I did showing how you can import 2D drawings from your designer, your architect, or your client and bring them into SketchUp. And in this example, we created a 3D modeled roof and applied texture to it so that we could get a visual of the roof and also get an estimate for, for that roof. So if I open up Estimator and select this roof, and, which is all grouped, you'll see I have my total dollar amount for material and labor that we did in the previous example. Okay. Uh, so see that video if you have any questions on that. But in this case, I basically took all these elevations and placed them properly around the house to where we could actually trace over top of them and use them as faces. So in this case, I've got the front elevation, and it's grouped, and a group called front. Uh, and, all the, and similarly around the house, I have front, right, rear, and left. And that's basically to control their visibility. Okay, so if you look at layers, we have a front, right, rear, and left layer. We also have the roof, which is what this modeled roof is on. And I've also got um, a brick and a stucco uh, layer because that's what the finishes are on this house. You can use the same methods for siding or shakes or any other kind of veneer that you're looking for. So in SketchUp, I've got a few scenes in here that I've already set up. The perspective scene is what you see here that we're kind of flying around to study. But I've also created, using parallel projection, a scene for the front, which has everything else cut on except for the uh, off except for the front. And I did the same thing for the right, the rear, and the left. And that way we can focus on just those faces that we want. So let's just start with the front elevation. And you'll notice if I was to cut on this 3D roof, you'll see it in the background, everything looks like it lines up properly. Alright, so let's get started and uh, we're just going to simply zoom up on this first little area of stucco and I'm going to use the R on the keyboard to, to draw a rectangle and I'm going to just simply trace that rectangle. Now you notice it's got a blue color to it. SketchUp faces have a white front and a blue back and I'm going to right click on that face and reverse that to make it the white face. It'll still let you apply material to that. However, in certain rendering programs it won't show up. So I just have a habit of reversing the face. All right, so we've got that. And then I'm going to uh, draw another rectangle around this window trim and then further a rectangle around the window itself or the, or the inside part of the trim. Okay. Then I'm going to select that face that we've created in the center there and just delete it. Later on, we're going to add glass. We can make it look fun. But for right now, I wanted a face for the base color and a face for the trim color. All right. So in this case, I'm now going to go to materials. And I'm going to apply some textures here. I've got a, a one called stucco that I'm going to apply to that face. And I've got white stucco that I'm going to apply to this trim inside there. So now you can see visually, I've got a base color stucco and a trim color of stucco. All right, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to triple click on this, the face that we just created, these faces, and I'm going to now uh, make that a group by right clicking, say make group. Now up in Entity Info, I'm going to put that on that layer called stucco. Okay, now you see it went away. That's because in this scene, uh, the stucco is cut off. So I'm going to cut stucco on, and now you see it. All right, now, before we go any further, let's go ahead and go to Estimator. And we're going to select that face and go to Materials. And in the Materials Selected box, you'll see we have the white stucco trim and the stucco base color. Um, I'm going to sign a cost code of st for stucco. I just start typing in stucco, and let's do it turnkey. And I'm going to type in here Drive It, because that's the brand that I use. And I'm going to put my vendor in, which is long. And I'm going to use square feet as the attribute, multiplier times one just as a default. I'm going to use a cost per square foot of, uh, let's just say, $8. And units displayed square feet. No tax. It's all turnkey. We're just going to do the total square footage. All right. And then save changes. So we can see that that particular portion, the base color, is on that face, $536. I'm going to choose the white stucco for the trim, and I'm going to do the same uh, same cost code, stucco, turnkey. We'll add a description. Again, drive it. I'll just say drive it trim. Vendor. It's 
long. We're using the square feet again and the same unit rate of eight dollars per square feet. Okay, and save changes. All right, we've only have to do that one time. Now every other time we paint those with those materials, our price will be calculated. So let's close estimator right now and let's move on to this brick. We can do the same <coughs> idea. The reason I put this in a group is this is a different plane than this brick. Same thing in this stucco face back here is set back behind this face. So you don't have to do this if you're looking for a quick estimator. You can just paint, you know, trace around this whole thing and, and apply the textures and move on. But I'm going to be using this in another uh, in the next video of how we're putting these pieces of the puzzle together. So um, now let's start out using the L for line tool, and I'm just going to trace the perimeter of this face to fit up underneath the roof that we've already done. Alright, again I'm going to reverse the faces. And I'm going to come in here and isolate this brick from this freeze board. Okay. A little tricky the way that thing was drawn in. Now you'll see I've got two separate faces. I wanted that to be the trim on the house, so we want that not to have brick on it, obviously. So, all right, now that we've got that face, let's go over to our materials and let's choose a, um, a brick. Let's go with, uh, with this brick texture here. Okay. All right, now we obviously want to cut out for the windows. So I'm going to use R for rectangle. just trace around the window itself and I'm going to delete that face. So you may choose to leave that window there to account for that brick or that stucco for instance. It's completely whatever method you want to use. I'm doing it more for a visual right now so when I put this thing together in, a, in, a, in the model I've got a visual with the window openings out of there. So let's just call it at that for now. I'm going to triple click on this face that we just created. I'm going to right click and say make that a group and I'm going to put that group on its entity info onto the brick layer which we knew we cut off here. Let's go to layers and cut the brick on. Alright so now that we can see we got these two faces in there we're going to go to estimator choose the brick face that you see here and we're going to go again to materials and we see brick so cost code, I'm going to put in, start typing brick and brick masonry uh, veneer. Let's see here. Let's choose that. Okay, and then I'm going to say brick uh, vendor. Let's say that it's um, box leaf. And I'm going to use square feet. For the multiplier, let's say that it's times six for six brick per square foot. So unit rate let's just say they're 50 cents each if it's I, I pay by the thousand so let's say it's 500 per thousand so I'm just gonna put 50 cents each in there and an EA for each I'm definitely gonna put some waste in there maybe 10 percent in sales tax 5.3 percent for me in Virginia so I'm gonna save changes and now we can see in this case that it takes 916 brick to do this particular wall face alright so let's add another uh, another associated cost to that brick. So let's go into add associated costs. We're going to go to cost code again. We're going to start typing in brick, but let's go with labor. And I'll say brick labor. And I'll choose my mason. And I'm going to again use the square feet. And again, because I pay by the uh, by the thousand. So let's say that it's times six divided by one thousand at a unit rate of let's say 500 per thousand so I'm going to put my units displayed as a TH for thousand definitely going to add that same waste but no tax alright so now we've got two costs in there um, where we have the brick material and the brick labor let's add another associated cost and let's come in and say uh, sand for instance okay and description here will be sand our vendor let's say it's 
some stone. Uh, in this case, uh, for sand, we have one ton per thousand. So I'm going to use the square feet. And in this case, I'm going to say times six or six brick per square foot. But and then I'm divide by 1,000. Okay, and then I'll put in a unit rate of $20 per ton. And I'll put waste in there and I'll put sales tax in there and save changes. So in this case, uh, it rounds it up to one ton of sand. Further, add another associated cost and let's add mortar. So if I just start typing in, let's see if mortar's in there. Let's put brick. Let's go back to brick materials and we'll say brick mortar. And our vendor. And let's use the square feet attribute. All right, in this case, um, it's seven bags of roughly seven bags of mortar per thousand brick. So let's say I do the same times six. And in this case, we're going to um, divide by a thousand and then times seven. Again, this is very simple math, um, but whatever works for you and whatever formulas work for you. And let's say it's eight dollars per bag each. Uh, we'll put waste in there and sales tax in there and save changes. And so we look up there and it takes seven bags. So uh, let's have one more associated cost. We'll do brick ties. So let's do the same uh, brick materials and call it brick ties. Um, let's say 100 count box. Not sure how much they come in now, but let's just use that as an example and uh, put a vendor in. And again, we're going to use square feet. And as a multiplier, again, to get the number of brick, I'm going to say times the same, times six. And let's use, I, I think it's about um, 60 ties per thousand brick. So times 60 divided by 1,000 and then divided by 100 for how many packs of ties that is. And let's just say it's $15 for a box of those. These numbers are whatever works for you. I'm just kind of giving you as an example. Let's put some waste in there and some sales tax save changes and so one box of ties would do this face all right so now that we've we've entered all that in and i'm going to drop back out here in a second i'm going to choose this face and this face and all told so far we're up to sixteen hundred dollars if i was to run a report on that go to the html report you'll see that i've got sand i've got all the brick brick mortar brick ties brick labor and drive it and drive it trim so that simple action that we did there will allow us to get a budget for this house. So having said that, you could do that same example, that same uh, method to do each face as you go throughout. So if we were to go and in back into our perspective here, let's just go ahead and cut that on. Let's cut on the stucco and the brick and you'll see that it's in the model right now. And we'll be able to apply these faces and put them where they belong to create a 3D shell as well as an estimate. So hope you learned something from that and the next video we will continue with these faces and we'll apply them uh, in the proper positioning so that we can have a shell of a house. So thanks for watching.